Hello, this is Why You Not Good, and I'm going to be showing you how to make a basic room in Source CK with great detail. Okay, so first thing you want to do is you want to click on this brush tool right here. This is your brush tool, so you can make uh, shapes and stuff like that. And here's your texture box. Now, to start a basic room off, I guess start with a sky box. Oh, whoops, sorry. So in the filter here, type in Tools, Sky and click on this first one right here skybox it's great for like counter strike and stuff like that click on that click on a box or sorry click on your brush tool yeah texture now make a room a large room this is me how big your map is going to be because you want to put everything inside your skybox so here's your top view your side view and your front view so this is like the overlook side look and another ang uh, another side look and here's your camera angle right here so each one of these squares is about the size of a player these like little squares right here so I don't want to make it pretty big but I'm gonna make a really small one for this tutorial so um yeah okay so 1088 by 1088 click enter and you'll see like it's highlighted in red and also click on your camera tool and drag it click and drag towards your box and it'll be facing your box on your map click on the camera tool hold the left click button and use WASD to move around your map now if you go inside your skybox your skybox is not hollow it's just a cube so what you want to do is make sure this is highlighted so it can't be like this make sure it's highlighted in red like this go to tools and make hollow now making hollow it tells you how thick the walls are gonna be I choose negative because um, I don't want to use any space inside my cube but all the space around it doesn't matter because nothing's gonna be outside because this is your skybox so maybe negative 30 or 10 see now you go inside it's not going to say skybox like this is going to be an actual sky now take your brush tool and get any texture you want um, I guess I'll start off with I'll type in floor or something like this and make your highlight just on the inside make sure it's on the inside like this and here's your height so you want to make it not as high as your skybox because you want room for them so you have like this press enter and yes there you go now you have a floor for your players to walk on make it as big as you want this is just me a basic room really now we want to make the walls around your area here doesn't matter if they're over overlapping and um, so say if you want a wall but your textures you want one texture to be on this side say um you want these this this wall is fine but you want these textures to be different or no you want this to be the same this to be different or something click on this tool right here at the bottom the face edit sheet and now browse whatever texture you want say i want this texture i want to keep these the same as that texture and this one different so you right click on the face you want to change so see now you have this texture here and this texture there now this is um, a good way to like if you want to go back and edit some stuff or you know just do all that and so now you want to um, make the walls all around and you don't want to like draw out that wall again Okay, what you do to copy it over you hold shift and left click on it and drag it over to wherever you want and while you're still holding shift the whole time until you let go see now I've duplicated this wall over here 
So again, I want to get this the same as that one. So go here and just make it easier. Go only use textures. Get rid of anything in the filter and it shows all the textures you've used on your map. So I want to get this one. Bring it there. Right click. So there. See now we have a uh, two walls. Now we want to drag it over to this side, but we can't really um, uh, like resize it. Like so, to turn it around and to rotate it to the actual wall. Oh crap! Hold on here. Uh, click on your wall, and this will highlight. Click on it, left click on it once, and we get these four circles on each corner. Hold one of them and drag and rotate to rotate the side of the wall. There we go. And see, now you've rotated the wall. And so, oh, whoops. Now if it fits this side, and since you want this to be the same as that again, go back to this tool. Bam. And then remember the hold shift and drag across. There you go. And since I copied it over, it's going to be the same as that. Okay, so now we got a four walls, but we don't have a player for, to spawn. So you go on the entity tool, which is this sort of white, blotchy looking thing. And so you want to put some counter terrorist or terrorist or spawn. Well, it depends on what game you're playing. So you want to, for so I want to a terrorist when terrorist spawn. Just click on your map with the enti entity tool. Type in infill player terrorist, and it should be the first one on there. And so um, you don't want remember the rotate tool if you don't want them facing the same way. And instead of keep uh, keeping to rotate and placing new terrorists, you can. Um, uh, hold shift and alt alt doesn't allow it to um, move freely on the grid and then hold control while this one's highlighted click one that's not highlighted it will highlight both of them hold shift and alt to duplicate those two hold control click on the last two and hold shift and alt and so on. How many? How many? How many? Ever, ugh, how many ever spawns you want? Now you want some counter terrorists. Type in info underscore player and look for counter counter terrorists. Click on the map somewhere over here. Rotate. I'm only gonna do one spawn. Okay. Okay, so now you have spawns and you have walls, but you gotta have some sort. Say if you want to add props like um, like barrels or rocks or something like that, click on the entity tool, click on in uh, type in prop and underscore, and you see like prop dynamic, physics, static, ragdoll. And detail. Okay, detail and dynamic you won't have to worry about. Static and physics you will have to worry about. Static are props that are like only work on things that don't move. I'm pretty sure they can work on certain cars. I know they work on light posts and rocks and stuff like that. But physics are like barrels or like boxes and stuff like that so let's do one of each click on prop static click somewhere on your map and you get this little tiny red box go to the selection tool which is this little key right here double click on it and this box will come up object properties prop static now go to the world model browse and you get a big list like this now here is where so I want um, since the prop static can't be things that move, so light post. Okay, I guess that's another one. 
Okay, um, so let's do car. Okay, so um, physics, prop physics is when you use the PHY MDL, but you want to go just go for the MDL because that's just static. So you click this, click apply, but as you can see, our prop is sort of underground here. Go to the selection tool again, and um, you want to move it up, but since it moves in locks of the grid, you got to hold Alt and move it to whatever you want. Click on it, click on it again, rotate it any way you want, and that's basically it. You can also make a roof, but I'm not going to show you in this video, um, but hopefully this helped.